Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two with this mono white Luris deck. Uh, so far, uh, if you missed part one, I do recommend you check that out. We kind of go over the deck in a little bit of detail, um, but we also actually had decent luck. We got two wins out of the three, uh, so we're going to see if we can do that again. Uh, hopefully, maybe even get three wins. That'd be really nice. So, uh, definitely check out part one. You kind of get to see why the deck has what it has, um, but. This is a decent opener. It's a little bit dependent on the Healer's Hawk surviving, um, so hopefully it will. But uh, assuming it does, I, I think we're going to be in okay shape. We'll see. We will see. Uh, I do like Healer's Hawk quite a lot here. Um, let's do that. Let's just go ahead and throw this on there. Um, we'll leave up uh, God's Willing or uh, Solid Footing. Just as an in-case measure. I think that's the way to play this, is to be very, very safe with everything that we do. Um, after we use up this God's Willing, though, we are in a bit of a pinch uh, to really, really make sure that we don't lose out on um, some value. Let's try and do this here. Okay, that's fine. So, Demir Flash. Um... They could just have a Brazen Borrower. Um, but do we risk it is my question. I kind of don't think so. Um, I'm going to do this. Go ahead and gain our three. They may, you know, do some major stuff. We'll, we'll find out. But I'm leaving up the protection. Totally fine. And again, we kind of get to flash this out here and see if they want to do anything about it. Um, if they do have the Brazen Borrower, that's going to suck. Uh, but if they don't and they just counter this, okay, or do that, that's totally fine. Um, unsummon would suck too, but uh, this just, we get to pressure instant speed stuff at the end of their turn so that way they kind of feel obligated to do a little bit more um really wish we had drawn a land there so we could get the all the glitters down uh i just don't know if we should risk it i feel like now's the time though um just because this really gets in for a lot of damage um and we'll see what they can do if they've got a way to deal with it kind of in a bad spot because we just don't have the lands um but we gotta try uh, we do haven't technically on attacking. It was an 11-11, uh, just because of how the uh, the ma the is it the Sentinels mark that technically does that, or is it I don't remember. Uh, regardless, it's very very good. Um, all right, let's go ahead and attack in, and we'll leave all of this up just in case. See if we get it. This is a quick game. What does this do? Turn target creature to its owner's hand. Uh, we're just going to do this. Gives it hexproof. Good game. Woo! All right. We played it outright. Um, I was a little worried they were going to bounce something, so I'm really, really glad we left up uh, all that. That was... That was prime placement. Um, all right, well, let's jump into game two. That was a quick one. Uh, I, that's more of what I expected from this list, to be honest, is very, very quick games. Uh, the second game, I believe, in the uh, first video was a bit long, uh, if I'm honest, but that's okay. Uh, also, just a heads up, guys, we're gonna try and stream a little bit later today. Um, we streamed on Thursday, I think, excuse me, for just a little bit. Uh, about an hour and a half, two hours, and it was actually a really fun time. A lot of you guys came to hang out. We really appreciate that. Uh, the hope is that we're going to be able to do that again. Um, so uh, we'll we'll be testing that out again a little bit later. Uh, let's do this, and we'll just play the ginger brute here. Sorry if we're dropping some frames. Also, my face cam is going to be a little bit uh, laggy right now. Uh, I do apologize. I'm using a different camera um, versus the webcam just to see how it actually 
fits. Um, I'm liking it so far, but uh, just uh, just a heads up. Um, let's actually attack in here. I want to let him block. Uh, and then we can just kind of do this. Might have been a bit aggressive, because uh, if they do have a way to remove this, then that's going to suck. But it's green-white. My assumption is they might just have like a banishing light, which would be bad. Um, but they don't get it this turn. I don't know what else they might have. Ah, glass casket. Sure. Yeah, that does it. Certainly annoying. Uh, land is very, very nice. So let's just play this out. And we'll try for this. Um, I don't have the highest of hopes. They may just very well have another glass casket or a banishing light, which is not good. But, um, oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. You got it. Feels bad, feels bad. Um, what do we have in our graveyard right now? Let's just do this. Um, we'll equip it up. Um, I think I was a bit too aggressive. I definitely should be leaving up more protection, but uh, the, the Karametra's Blessing doesn't do anything for Luris without it being enchanted, so did kind of feel pressured into uh, the Sentinel's Eyes there. Now, though, uh, we get to do this and leave up the Karametra's Blessing, which is very, very good. So let's see what they can do about this. Um, not to mention we're gaining six off of that. That feels very, very nice. All right. Great card. Absolutely a great card. Um, this, like, Selesnia deck is very, very cool. I've seen a couple of these. Um, don't know how great it is right now, to be honest. Um, but... It is a very cool deck. I love the fact that you just get to do so much uh, is really, really sweet. All right. Uh, okay, we're drawing a little too much land now. Um, <laughs> that's kind of silly, but it is what it is. Um, okay. It's fine by me. Uh, I'm guaranteeing they're just trying to build up their Satessan champion. They also get the, the counter there, which is good. Um, but I feel okay about our position. Not great, if I'm honest. We need a little bit more, like, enchantment stuff. Yep, that makes it a little harder. Yep. Woo, that's very good. Does that have lifelink? No, it does have trample. Um... Good news is if they do attack with this, we've got a good bit of life kind of just going for us here. So it's going to make it a little bit trickier for them. Uh, and we're gaining a good bit here. Sure. Well, no, we're, we're not going to block. We're going to let them hit for 11. That's a good chunk of damage. Don't get me wrong. Oh, my goodness. In a land with only 20 lands, we were drawing this many. That's pretty bad, if I'm honest. Don't like that. Don't like that. Um, all right. We got to pass. Feels bad, guys. Feels really bad to draw that many lands. Um, yep. Oh, goodness. Now they're going to start gaining a bunch of life, too. I think we're just going to get outpowered here. <laughs> um, no doubt about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's some big hits. Um, I mean, we do this, but it's not great. We have drawn almost half of our lands. Um, but I think we just lose here. We do get to block this, but they've got... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and concede. I don't think, um, I don't think we have too much of a hope of winning. Uh, as close as we were to killing them, they were gonna. It was gonna swing back and forth, and they are an enchantment deck. Um, so the assumption is they're gonna be able to enchant up that healer's hawk just a little bit more, uh, and finish us off. So, last game. This is a quick one. Uh, we're under the ten minute mark so far. Um, let's see if we can get one win or one more win with this. Uh, I believe we won the first one, lost the second. So we're we're 
doing okay. Uh, we do get to Ginger Brood out this turn, which feels quite good. Um, next turn, we're going to hold off on the all, all that glitters most likely and just play the solid footing to... Oh, man, that's a good one too. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, it gives it Vigilance, so I'd like to... Or, excuse me, it does not give it Vigilance. Did I think it... As long as the... Okay, that's it. And that's fine. Um, now we can God's Willingness if they do try and remove it. Um, and next turn, we can just all that glitters. Okay. Again, trying to play a little bit safer uh, than we did in the first video. Um, I think that was a bit more of our problem. <laughs> uh, and so I'm hoping that that kind of gives us a better edge, we will say. Um, opponent taking a little while to scry, that's okay. You, you take your time. All right. Um, yeah, we're just gonna... Okay. Let's do this. I could have made this unblockable. Um, again, I'm leaving up that mana, though. I think that's much more important for us. Not looking to just, like, outright lose to a removal spell. Now we're going to have to start making it unblockable, though. Ooh, interesting. Um, yeah. It's going to make it tricky. Okay. Let's go ahead and play this out. Let's make this unblockable. Technically, we can make both of these unblockable, but I think we will not do that. Um, we're going to leave this guy up. Let's hit him for six. Um, if it comes down to it, I'll just block here and then give something protection. Nice card. Hmm. If that's the case, then I'm not going to block. All right, we win. Well, this was like the super quick video. Okay, um in summary of the deck, uh <laughs> that did not take very long. Um so uh, as far as the games go, we won 4 out of 6. Uh which is kind of about what I was expecting. I do think that this is a slightly faster deck and a little bit more resilient in a lot of ways than some of the other decks that we've got out there right now. Um, wait, can I do... Yeah, look at that. I can swap. Uh, but um, my, I think my issue with it was that I was being a little bit too aggressive and a little bit too committal to the board. I think what you need to do is always leave up... It should kind of go without saying, but I'm slow. Sorry about it. Um, I'm a little slow to, to learn some things, but uh, I do think that leaving up those protection spells is so, so crucial uh, to making sure that this deck goes off without a hitch. Um, some cases we didn't have a choice. Some cases we did. Um, overall, this deck is pretty potent. Uh, it's very, very sweet. Luris gives it that recursion that it needs, I think. Um, and all that glitters is just stupid good. Like, we've known that for a while now, uh, but it's nice to see it in action once again. Um, I like this deck. It's super cheap to make. Uh, so if you're not playing it, or if, you, if you'd like to try it, it doesn't take very much. You've probably already got most of the cards, if not uh, some cheap wild cards, and you're there. So I like this one. I would give it a shot. I'd be interested to see, like, a teched out version. Um, and by that, I mean, like, you know, if you've got uh, Castle Ardenvale in there, is maybe even just a one of, but to give you uh, the ability to kind of pump out a creature if you really, really need to, maybe that's something that could give this a little bit more longevity. Um, just because, you know, your hand fills up, we saw in one game especially, our hand fills up with enchantments, then you got nothing to do with them if you don't have a creature, if they sweep the board. So I'd like to see how that would work out. Uh, overall, though, 
it was a fun one. I like it. I normally don't like mono white. It's pretty good though. Uh, I would recommend trying it out. I really do uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure as always to check out the links down below in the description. We've got a lot of stuff down there for you guys. So please check it out. Uh, join our discord. Recommend us a deck. We are looking forward to playing uh, some user submitted decks. I know we've already had a few. So thank you very much guys. I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video and hopefully later today on a stream as well. So talk to you guys then.